Hey guys, look what Paul decided to buy. One of these bad boys. Um, I don't know. Just saw it at a local lot. Really liked what this company, I, I don't know much about Iron Bull, but I really liked what they did with this trailer. I passed by a few times. I saw them sitting there, so stopped in and I was really happy with it. I always wanted a dump trailer. I'm not in the landscaping business, as y'all could tell. I'm in a bunch of Ram world here. Ram engine, Ram rear end. Another Ram rear end, a Ford bed. But anyways, about this trailer. I really like what they did. They made a very serviceable grease points on every pivoting points. It really, uh, Iron Bull really stood out to me. I'm very much a, uh, what do you want to call it? A Big Tex? Big Texas? Yeah, they just go with Big Tex. So, I don't know how, I don't need to sit there and convince you. We, uh, we run Big Tex. I think we have over 30 trailers that are big techs, and that's all we run. And then I have a Summit car trailer, if you're new to the channel. And now an Iron Bull. I really like Iron Bull. They, I don't know if they're a small company, what their deal is, but I don't see much of them around town. So when I saw this one, I was really happy with it. So they got the cover. Tarp. This is 24-inch, 7-gauge floor. I think these are 10, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on the wall. I know I made sure the, the bottom was decent, not a 10 gauge, but a seven gauge on the bottom. Um, obviously it's, you can spread with it. You know, you got your linkage here. Barn doors and it's a tailgate. So if you pull these pins out, it becomes a tailgate. Um, I don't know why, but I love this trailer. I saw it, had to have it. There was a few on the lot, they're all sold. Man, I was hounding the salesman for like months, finally called me up one day and said hey we got some you want one i'm like yes sir so i don't know just how i am who i am i love mechanics i love equipment i guess i think that's the key i like good equipment that's what makes me happy you know money well spent i think that's what it comes down to i like i like high mileage stuff i get excited you know this thing has like five hundred thousand. this thing has 250 i think this thing is mid now nah, about end of 300s so anyways, we got some high mileage rigs around here. Oh, uh, you know, that truck is 466, but we just put a fairly new engine in there. So that's just who I am. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and you'll see Paul. He has all kinds of weird stuff going on. But this channel is primarily about Rams because we run so many of them. You know, I really couldn't tell you what this is for. If you guys know, shoot in the comment section. It's probably to hook something on here. Maybe the chain or something. Maybe to slide something. I don't know pretty simple um we had this thing full of steel the guys i brought it back you know i recently purchased this thing as you could tell it probably had a couple dumps in it if that um as soon as i brought it here guys next couple days just started loading a bunch of steel in it i think in a few days they're gonna load up the rest of the tires as you could tell we got one run ready to go and yeah it's just super handy so anyways boys so you could tell around here, there's all kinds of use for this dump trailer from tires to, to steel. What I was trying to underline is this thing was just well, well loaded with steel, the good old amount. I wish I took a picture of it, but I was in a hurry at the time. I never did. And the guy said it didn't break a sweat dumping it. So that was super important to me. It has a scissor lift. Um, guys, something very important. I know it's a new trailer, but I don't trust manufacturers. I know that Iron Bowl looks like they do their stuff well. But still, you know, I saw white grease. I don't know what kind of white grease it is. So I went through everything, threw my Schaefer's grease in it. Uh, the guys still haven't done it, but they're going to pull these these wheel assemblies off, throw a heavier duty seal on the back, put a bunch of Schaefer's grease in there. But I personally put this dump all the way, maxed it out, went through every single Zert, greased it. So, you know, I did the greasing of all the hinges. That's what I liked about it. It's very serviceable just everything just went through a grease at all now i'm waiting on my guys to do the hubs and retorque the u-bolts retorque everything on here and redo it so that's what's up so two things that stood out to me it might the second one might not be a good thing for everybody but for me i liked it for some reason this one this series of uh, iron bolt i saw taller ones and then shorter ones like lower this is like a low profile one it just sits in there so i like that First thing that really stood out to me in Iron Bowl, the way they iron, uh, the way they weld everything, they did a really good job. And obviously power coating. You could tell it's a, it's a well-powered, power-coated trailer. 
Simple as that. Really simple as that. And obviously this one, the low profile seemed to come with a big old toolbox up front, which is very helpful and handy. I know you don't need much securement when it comes to uh, dump trailers, but you need still something. And I think this is perfect. You know, throw all your bungees in here. You know, maybe throw a little divider in here. Throw all your bungees in here and a few straps here and there. And yeah, it's phenomenal. Some good stuff. Obviously, whatever this sticker says, always maintain your your battery. So the guys threw the extension on it yesterday evening. So it's been a good 24 hours done. I know it's the battery tender, but that's just how I am. I there's no reason if it's charged, it's charged. Leave, leave it alone. I don't know if I'm gonna put a spare on here. As weird as it sounds, I have a feeling it's gonna stick out quite a bit. But anyways, boys, that's my story. All the logical reasons behind it why I bought this. Bottom line is a lot less back breaking and time wasting efforts gonna go into cleaning up this property and the other one around here. Anyways, boys, may the Lord bless you. May the Almighty find day. Ciao. Bye.